<laughs> Every time I get a bit off the bottom, he just goes back, back, back down, eh? <laughs> No, it's double stripey! It is double stripey! Double stripey on the chair. Double stripey on the chair, Jimbo! Double stripey on the chair! <laughs> oh, man. Well, Jimbo, I hope we have a better day than that tomorrow. <laughs> oh dear, poor thing. Really cool, interesting hack for anybody that's watching this. Is these two rollers, when you tie in your FGs, once you really want to tighten them up, Get the rollers, a couple of loops. Same on the other side. A couple of cheeky loops. A little bit of tension on the rollers. Ugh! You can slip that puppy into place. Make sure it's grabbing. Ugh! The good old rollers. And then if your trailer's f***ed, you've also got some spare rolls. <laughs> Ooh, that was such a lucky first shot. That was on point. Oh. So, a deal's a deal. Paper, scissors, rock for who's cooking the breaky wraps. Paper, scissors, rock. Good morning, Wallaby Dick. It is a beautiful, calm morning on the west coast. We're about to head out the gates and just have breakfast. Jimbo's just making us some uh, bogan dust, which is formerly known as instant coffee. My brother gave me that one. Whoa! Bit of a sleepless night, but we're on the water, so we've got nothing to witch about. We're gonna head straight out to a couple of marks, try and get some stripies on the jig. Didn't bring any bait with us down this trip. And then I think it's on to playing with the uh, Tiagra's trying to get a tuna as well. So we're going to navigate out of this beautiful, beautiful channel, get on the water. Everything's looking as if it's gonna work in our favor today. She is flat as anything. So without further ado, let's get into it. See when something's happening. Could be an Oki. You see that? Yeah, I did. <sighs> Another big butterfly. Look at those pretty wings on them. Aren't they beautiful? You're a pretty, pretty fish. A good practice is just to give it a little pop with a knife so it can spin back down if you are releasing. This guy. Doesn't have as crazy as spikes as a typical gurnet, so you can be a little bit more delicate with it, but how about that for an interesting species? You can definitely see that you get some better fillets off it too, if you were going to eat it. A good eating too, I heard. Look at the beautiful colours. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> 
We may have finally got onto something here. How's the fight so far, Jimby? Pretty painful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Every time I get a bit off the bottom, he just goes straight back straight to back it. back down, eh? Oh. It's funny, it's a very subtle take. Yeah, it seemed pretty subtle when I first it went. It was like he was asleep. Jimbo, come on, you've got this. Golly gosh, he just wants to go straight back down the bottom, doesn't he? <laughs> stop. Oh. oh, stop it. Come on, Jim. Go. He's got a good run on him. Doesn't he? What'd you hook him on? That's a 160 gram jig. 115 meters of water. I'm gonna grab that net for you. But this would be, if it is a stripey, will this be your first one on the west? It will be. On the jig. So we just came to a new mark. We've had a really quiet morning. Uh, I've just been pulling up butterfly gurnet and gurnet. But yes, James set this drift up. Pretty much as soon as he's hit the bottom, he's um, had a nice subtle take. While you've still got a hot minute and it's beautiful conditions, Jimbo. Talk us through your new <laughs> rod and reel combo. <laughs> it's a new, just a slightly heavier than what I've previously been using. Bit of a beefier reel and a PE3 jig rod. I think we'll run a 30 pound braid and we have some very big color. Oh yeah, buddy. What All is right, that, that is huge. Shark. No, it's double stripey. And, and it is double stripey. Double, double stripey on the jig. Double stripey on the jig, Jimbo! Double stripey on the jig! Good thing I put two hooks on. Oh my god, look at that, he's put up two beautiful stripies on the jig! Stupid. That does not happen every day, but he is double whammy. Two, two legals. beautiful legal stripey <laughs> on the jig, Jimbo! Get this here. is what we are here for. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mate. Oh, I'm so fucking proud of you. Oh. Dude, <laughs> how good is that? That is insane. That's wicked. You're kidding. Gosh, he's a good size. Both, both of them are they get feisty when they're hungry, don't they? Holy gosh, both of them competing as well. No wonder who fought so goddamn hard. First trip to the West Coast. First West Coast stripey. But wait, we didn't just get one. <laughs> we got two. On oh, the same jig. What a and an absolute, absolute horse. umper. That is crazy. The same jig too. It was hard for you to get some weight on him originally, but yeah. this little pup is 60 centimeters. Legal size for these are 55 centimeters. But this big one, the big girl, I reckon she's pushing 75. 75 pretty much on the dot. 74, 75. Wow, here, Jimbo. Well, was it worth the three hour drive? Actually, four hours. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. And a heartbeat. What a day. Just like that, it's made everything worthwhile. It's been such a hike to get here, but gosh, that's a beautiful looking jig, too. I haven't seen you pull that out of your arsenal yet. Unfortunately, we didn't have any more luck on the stripies on the jig, but gosh darn it, James, that was epic. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it wicked? You cannot complain with that. Going to uh, try a little free dive in about six meters of water. See if I can get into some of these cracks over here. Looks like some pretty good ground. Hopefully, I can pull a couple of abalone. Anything else would be an absolute bonus. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Tranquil dive, that was good. How'd you go, James? Did you enjoy cutting laps? Wishing Had a fantastic to, time. Wishing to know whether or not I was gonna come back up with every shortened breath that I had. <laughs> wraps on wraps on wraps. Mm -mm -mm. So one beautiful looking crayfish down there, but didn't quite get him. It's good to get in the water. And you know what? I had a shower with baby shampoo, so there's nothing to complain about here. But that was definitely worthwhile fantastic mission time to pack up and let these holidays run away from us thanks very much for watching this episode of Tazcast fishing adventures we will see you next time let's get fishing baby what an awesome trip to the west coast of tasmania have you done much fishing down there let me know in the comments below now the question of this episode what is the hardest fighting fish you have ever landed leave your comments down below and we will send out a tazcast hoodie in your size to one of the commenters we'll see you next episode something on a pretty gentle tap still a couple of head shakes on the way up so I'm pretty interested to know what species this is might actually just be another butterfly cooter butterfly cooter butter <laughs> <laughs>